Hi, my name is Jacob Rockwoods, and this is a quick demo on how to create a custom views expose filter form. The problem that this recipe is trying to address is that the views module allows you to create exposed filters that are displayed at the top of the, the results or even in a block. There's a few limitations there that you can only have one exposed filter form per view display and this exposed filter form has to display all the exposed filters. That's just kind of the default behavior. The solution that we're going to explore here is using the web form module to create kind of an alternate version of that exposed filter form that then you could place on your site as a block. For this demonstration, I'm logged in as an admin. I'm using a very cl clean default install. I'm going to create an exposed filter form for this page. This is just the admin content search. I'm going to kind of do it, you know, I'm using, I'm just giving you an example of how it works. I'm going to use this as a keyword. One thing you want to do is you want to inspect this form and also look at the query string parameters and we'll see that there's a title expose filter. So we're going to use that as our starting point. We're going to go in and add a form. And we're going to do content. Call it form. We can add notes in the admin description. Now we're going to add an element. And for this purpose, I'm going to use a search element. Something you do have to pay attention to. So I'm going to change the title to be search for content. The key has to correspond to the exposed filter form element. So it's going to be title. Don't need to change any of the other default settings. I can hit save. Now we can look at the form. We have the form. The problem is this form is going to submit and save to the web form module. But we wanted to do is go to this URL. So we're going to get the path. I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to hit edit, settings. Scroll down all the way to the bottom, and there's this details widget that allows you to customize the method of the submission. So we're going to change this to a get because we want to create parameters. And we're going to submit to this URL. And I'm going to hit save. And now I'm also going to go get this keyword that I use so we can really verify that it's working. I'm going to hit view. Submit. And you see that I've redirected this form to go to this URL with the creation parameter title. Now, the real use case is to make it more interesting is to place this form on the site, which you can easily do. We're going to click back. That's a block. And we're going to go in to block layout. Let's do it as the first element. We're going to go to web form, place block. You could change the title. You could not have the title. Let's not have the title. Um, we're going to go in content. And there's the form. We hit save. And then I'm also going to jump. I'm going to get this keyword again. So when we do a demo, we go to the home page. Here we go. Search for content. Hit submit. And, and we can customize all these aspects. I mean, you can customize the submit button, the layout, description, which is a lot more than you could do with views, exposed filter form. So this is another opportunity that you can kind of leverage the web form module to give your editors full control over the form. Like the, they can add descriptions, help text, images. And now we have a working form. Um, I hope this helps get you started thinking creatively about how to use the web form module. I, I also want to emphasize that this shows a, a really interesting use case of using the web form module to build forms, but not submissions, because this could go to any server. That action could be posted to a completely remote server. It could be posted to a high performance Node.js backend. Um, it opens up a lot of possibilities. Thanks for your time, and I hope this helps.